administration offered a near two billion dollar aid program to farmers came with a catch it was only offered to farmers of color the administration is now facing a lawsuit white farmers filed suit claiming the program discriminates against them james dunlap is with us he's a farmer in oregon and he's part of the lawsuit james take me through this have i got this right you applied for this loan forgiveness program but you were refused because you were white is that accurate uh well, thanks for having me, Barney. But yeah, basically, uh, we we are ineligible strictly because of our race. You'd had to take out a few loans during the pandemic to keep your farm going, and you wanted those loans forgiven like they've been forgiven for other farmers, but you were refused, again, because you were white. So you tell me, what's the status of your suit right now? Um, I'm not 100% sure on how the the suit is going. I, I don't really understand the law side of it, but uh, I know they tried to put a stay on it. We're, we're fighting that. Um, there's there's multiple lawsuits throughout the country, too. Um, the law firm that we're using, Pacific Legal Foundation, has, has multiple lawsuits in several states. But uh, and, and to clarify, it's not actually loans taken just because of COVID. It's just farm loans in general that are being forgiven for, for socially disadvantaged farmers, which are farmers of color. What, uh, how much money are we talking about with your loans? Uh, personally, I've, I've got over $150,000 in, in loan principal right now. Um, but they are going, I mean, there's potential there for well over a million dollars to be forgiven. Uh, let's say a farmer had taken a loan out in 2018. Um, I think anything before January of, tw of 2020 qualified. So someone could have borrowed upwards of $1.8 million maybe from the federal government for to buy a farm mm -hmm. and to operate on, and that could all be forgiven like that just because of their race. Uh, that's not good. I understand that. But if you do not yeah. get your loans forgiven, are you, as a farmer, out of business? Uh, we're not out of business, but, you know, Farming and ranching in general is incredibly hard. Uh, JFK said, you know, the only the farmer's the only man in the country that uh, pays wholesale, or retail for everything, sells everything wholesale, and pays the freight both ways. Uh, farming's hard. What do you want from the suit? I mean, do you want the money? Do you want your loans forgiven? Would you be happy if that happened? Well, yeah, I mean, the, to have our loans forgiven would be life-changing. My wife and I both work full-time jobs off the farm to make ends meet, to make things work. Uh, you know, we work all the time. I barely see my one and a half year old daughter. Um, and to have these loans forgiven, that debt service eliminated would be one of those jobs. You know, we, we could actually have a, a family life. <laughs> I could be home and, and see my kiddo and, and it would be life changing. Uh, and on top of COVID, we've got a devastating drought in the West this year that that's, I, I personally know farmers in, in our little valley that are, that are probably gonna go under. So, are you yeah. angry? I, I'm incredulous. I, I just can't believe it. I, I can't understand the racial discrimination like this, just the flagrant racial discrimination by the government that we haven't seen since the 60s. And, and just because it happens to be towards white people doesn't make it any better. Uh, I don't understand. Mr. Dunlap, we're very much in sympathy with you, if that means anything, and we hope and wish you Thank the you. very best of luck. And I hope you can come back and see us again soon. We'd like to see how this suit yep. of yours is going.